Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do when your iPhone won't enter DFU mode. It's unusual for iPhones to experience serious problems, but when they suffer, one troubleshooting step is entering DFU mode and restoring the device to remedy the problems. However, what if your iPhone won't go into DFU mode and you don't know why? Don't panic, we'll explain everything here and show you what to do. Why isn't your iPhone entering DFU mode? DFU mode is called Device Firmware Update Mode. By entering DFU mode with specific button combinations, iPhone users can bypass the bootloader or iOS to do a restore, iOS update or iOS downgrade using a computer. If you have problems putting the iPhone into DFU mode, these factors might be to blame. You attempt the wrong button presses. There are software glitches inside the operating system. Your iPhone is running an outdated iOS software version. The buttons are broken or damaged. Jailbreaking errors prevent your iPhone from entering DFU mode. How to fix an iPhone not entering DFU mode? Thankfully, you can get your device booting and running again on your own. So here's what you need to do when your iPhone doesn't go into DFU mode. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step. Besides, if you have any questions, Write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Check if your iPhone enters DFU mode properly. I know most of you might have searched around in Google or YouTube and followed the instructions step by step but the iPhone still does not enter DFU mode. Just in case you aren't using the correct process, here is a clear tutorial for DFU mode entry. It's worth taking a few minutes to try it again. Alright, first of all, connect your iPhone to a PC or Mac and open iTunes or Finder. Then, press a series of button combinations to go into DFU mode, which varies for different iPhone models. If you're using an iPhone 8 and later models, quickly press and release the volume up button and volume down button. Then, press and hold the side button until the screen goes black. While still holding the side button, press and hold the volume down button as well. Keep holding both buttons for 5 seconds. Then, release the side button but continue holding the volume down button for another 10 seconds. If the screen stays black, your device is now in DFU mode. If you're using an iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press both the power button and volume down button together for around 10 seconds. Then, release the power button but continue holding the volume down button for another 5 seconds. If the screen stays black, your device is now in DFU mode. If you're using an iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the power button for 3 seconds. Then, press and hold the home button while still holding the power button for 10 seconds. Then, release the power button but continue holding the home button for another 5 seconds. If the screen stays black, your device is now in DFU mode. If you see any logos or messages on the screen, you may need to start over. Now, keep your phone untouched and connected to the computer. Go back to iTunes or Finder window. If you see that there's an alert saying that it has detected your iPhone in recovery mode, it means your iPhone enters the DFU mode successfully. Do a power cycle and try going into DFU mode again. You'll need to ensure that there is no software glitch or system bug stopping your getting into DFU mode on iPhone. A useful way to do that is doing a restart. If you're using an iPhone 10, 11, or later iPhone models, do this to restart your iPhone. Press and hold the volume up or down button and the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 8 or older iPhone models, do this to restart your iPhone. Press and hold the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If the touch screen is not working or your iPhone is frozen, Try to force restart your iPhone. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. After your iPhone does the power cycle and turns back on, 
Follow the instructions in step 1 to set iPhone into DFU mode again. If, still, your iPhone refuses to enter DFU mode, move to the next step. Do update and try entering DFU mode again. Before going into DFU mode, you also need to make sure that your iPhone software is not too old. Otherwise, there will be an unknown conflict between the button presses and the software. As a result, the iPhone is not going into DFU mode. To solve such problems, go to settings to download and install the latest iOS software on your iPhone. Here's what you need to do. Open the settings app, tap on general, choose software update. Your iPhone will start checking if there's an update available. If there is, it'll prompt you to download and install an update to upgrade the iOS system. Just press the download and install option. Finish the on-screen instructions to trigger the update process to start. Once done, your iPhone will turn back on. Follow the instructions in step 1 again and see if your iPhone goes into DFU mode now. Attempt the recovery mode. Are you trying to enter the DFU mode to fix software-related problems, update or restore? Then, consider attempting the recovery mode. It's also an advanced troubleshooting mode to help you do that. We'll show you how to do that in the following. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Now, when you see this dialog box in your computer, start with updating your phone. It will not delete everything on your device. Click the update or restore option and wait for the process to complete. Maybe one hour, maybe three hours. Thereafter, wait for your device to boot up. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone that won't enter DFU mode. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.